Coronavirus. You've probably heard of it by now, but did you know that an AI system predicted the outbreak way back in December? Today we're going to talk about how a company used machine learning to anticipate the Wuhan outbreak way before it became a massive public health concern, and how they continue to use AI to track the outbreak as it spreads. If you're new here, say hi and let me know who you found my channel in the comments. And if you like this video, you can let me know by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel so that you can stay on top of how you interact with AI on a daily basis. In early January, the World Health Organization and the US Centers for Disease Control and Prevention announced to the public that a flu-like illness had begun to spread through a city in China called Wuhan. And in the months since then, fears of a coronavirus pandemic have spread faster than the disease itself. But the WHO and the CDC weren't the first people to figure out that something was spreading through Wuhan. Blue Dot, a Canadian health monitoring company, had predicted the outbreak way back in late December, going so far as to warn their investors not to visit the area. How did they do it? Well, the developers at Blue Dot developed an AI system that took in news reports in 65 different languages, as well as airline records and reports of animal disease outbreaks to predict when new outbreaks would occur and track existing ones. The system's predictions were then validated by scientists, epidemiologists who had been trained to make sure that these predictions made sense scientifically. If the scientists thought that the predictions were valid, then they would create a report explaining what the outbreak might be and where they'd expect it to start, and send that report to public health officials, airlines, and hospitals that either may already have patients with this disease or may be soon receiving them. Blue Dot systems can also track outbreaks, predicting where they might spread next. In fact, the system correctly predicted that the coronavirus would spread from Wuhan to Bangkok, Taipei, Seoul, and Tokyo in the days immediately following its initial appearance. Something that I found particularly interesting is that Blue Dot does not use social media posts to track outbreaks. You might think that tracking things like Facebook and Twitter would give you a better idea of who's talking about feeling sick and when, as well as where, but they found that data to actually be too unreliable to use. This also isn't the first time that Blue Dot has correctly predicted an outbreak. They also correctly predicted the location of a Zika virus outbreak in South Florida in 2016, and the results were published in The Lancet, a major medical journal. So why don't we use AI systems like this all the time? Well, epidemiologists have been performing this work for decades, so the system, so to speak, has been around for a while. Epidemiologists might look at anything from statistics on the geographic distribution of a disease to the demographics of the people who have it to figure out where it originated and where it might spread next. This can be a lot of data to sort through, though, so the benefit of using AI is that these systems can sort through this information much faster than a human ever could. Additionally, we have actually tried to use AI to predict outbreaks before. Google developed Google Flu Trends in an effort to predict the severity of the upcoming flu season. Now, as we've talked about in another video on my channel, Researchers have used AI to create a more effective flu vaccine by predicting how the virus would mutate in the future. Unfortunately, however, Google Flu Trends was not effective. They underestimated the severity of the 2013 flu season by 140%, and the project was quickly scrapped afterwards. And this failure may have led other developers who were interested in outbreak prediction to shy away from this challenge. Personally, I'm really looking forward to seeing more AI systems applied to the challenge of disease prevention and tracking. However, it's important to realize that as helpful as AI might be in these scenarios, this information isn't available to the public, and so we still have to rely on public health officials to share information in a timely manner. One of the factors attributed to the spread of coronavirus is the fact that Chinese public health officials initially minimized the severity of the disease until it became impossible to ignore and had spread to other countries. It's also important to remember that an AI system is only as good as its data. The fact that Blue Dot system uses news reports in 65 different languages is actually really exciting in this respect, because it means that they might be capturing the ways that different cultures talk about health. This might be harder to do if you only relied on English language news. In fact, this is something that the natural language processing community, the part of AI that deals with understanding and interpreting language, has been struggling with recently because a lot of the initial developments in the field were based around English, and we're finding that, that both 
doesn't generalize well to other languages, and that there are actually a lot of interesting things that you can learn from looking at other languages than English. So hopefully Blue Dot system can serve as an example to future researchers and developers who are interested in tackling similar problems. What do you guys think? Do you think it's time for another go at predicting the upcoming flu season? Let me know in the comments. Also, some of you asked for videos that were a bit happier that reflected kind of the good uses of AI, so hopefully this video will satisfy your needs. Otherwise, if you like this video, you can let me know by smashing that like button and subscribing to my channel. You can also support me on Patreon. Thank you so much to all of my patrons. Otherwise, you can follow my PhD antics on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.